Hello there, and welcome back to Blue Harvest Vintage Toys. And you can see I'm going to be reviewing the Hoth Ice Planet adventure game today. Now, we're going to be looking at the figure, mostly, obviously. But I want to look at the game because people have been neglecting this game. I've seen a few, a couple of reviews that have not actually looked at the game. I'm sure you want to see the, the game too. It's something I have... Um, Never played. I've never seen it. I saw the. Uh, I, I I did used to have the Escape from uh, the Death Star Star Wars game, but I never had. I ever saw this game. Uh, lovely artwork. There. On the box. Um, they could have had some attacks in it, I suppose. But no, that that is just a perfect picture. I think it's a really good picture. And um, I think it was Scuba Pete actually said. That put that behind your your attack, your vintage attack, and it makes a really good scene. So I might be doing that. I might do that. Thank you, Scuba Pete. So here we go. Um, obviously, it was like the uh, Star Wars game that came out last year with the Tarkin. He got the, all the packaging with it that uh, he probably got rid of anyway. I did, I did get rid of my game. Oh, look at that. That's a bit of a shocker, isn't it? Oh, dear. Oh. I do like that card, though. I do like the picture. That's an excellent picture. Really good mock-up, and it's got the snow speed on it as, as well. It's got the retro collection sticker on. Uh, some people, Matt, over at the Universe Collector, takes this off. I'm going to leave it on. Um, I don't know where I'm going to display it to be honest with you. I did get the uh, the box for the whole of the, the retro collection and I did get, order this get thinking that it would fit in my seven figure Empire Strikes Back box. But um, unfortunately it won't. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. That's um, the, the figure I like the figure, I do like the figure, and coming in with the lightsaber is excellent, but I just don't like the blast shield. It's see-through, it's obviously see-through, I just don't know why you've got it there, why not have it like um, the original vintage X-Wing pilot look, where we always thought it was, I always thought it was hair, and a lot of people thought it was hair. That was hanging down but it was uh, the visor obviously the visor is down with the blast shield down i can i can see anything let alone fight <laughs> so there you go that's um that is the card i don't like it i'm glad i got it obviously got this got this game just for this basically but we're going to look at this game because it is very retro the, the illustrations are just so retro. <laughs> Why it's got Boba Fett on it? I really don't know. Defeat Darth Vader. And look at those. Look at those illustrations. They are just classic, aren't they? Anyway. Big instructions. Really big instructions. Looks quite... Um, Basic, really. I mean, you probably wouldn't need those. You'd probably work it out for yourself. So you get your spinner. Boba Fett. What's Boba Fett doing on Hoth? Anyway. <laughs> uh, incident cards. You're caught in a blizzard on Hoth. Move back two spaces. Let's let's actually get this out, and we'll get we'll open the. Get rid of the box and we'll open the board and we'll see what those cards actually relate to. Bear with me while I uh, open that. Let's have a look at this. Oh wow. How colourful and that oh that is just like Really retro. Let's move. Oh, let's get the spinner. It should be, it should have a space for your spinner in the 
in the middle or something like that. But I should, you just put it to the side, don't you? We've got Vader, really retro Vader picture there. We've got Probot, Attack, Snow Trooper, and Boba Fett again. So you put your incident cards there. Oh, we've got plenty of Force cards. I don't know what's uh, in those, but you put your Force cards there. Your counters, you've got you've got four falcons, all different colours. So you, each player will choose a falcon, and you got a snow speeder as well for some reason. So yeah, there you go. So you caught in a blizzard on half a move back pulse. Where do you start? Where do you start? I wonder if you start on. I think. Well, I don't know because. Uh, that's unusual. It's, oh, Rebel. Rebel base. Oh, you start there. That's what. Not big enough for me. Uh, you start there. Uh, you move into hyperspace. If that's two spaces. Oh, uh, two spaces in your Battle of Stormtrooper. So, I don't know if that's an incident card or a force card. I would have thought it's an incident card. Uh, the forces with you draw a force card. One to two, seven to eight. Oh, that's yeah. It just means means that you need to. Um, we need to read the instructions. It's, it might maybe more complicated than I initially thought, because you've got your spinner. You obviously move the space as your spinner says, but you've got I don't know because you've got you one two three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're going up to thirteen, so you can move thirteen spaces. So you're going round. You must be going round and round. So you go. It would be nice to have a game, actually. If there was two of us, I'd I'd probably play the game and show how to play it. Obviously, you must get incident cards. Maybe when you, I don't know, because you're not spinning on an incident there. You must get an incident card on the board. It's not complicated like Monopoly, is it? So, <laughs> so you've got a battle Darth Vader. I suppose you've got to get more than a more than a ten to d beat Darth Vader, have you? Oh, I've got six. So, yeah. So I think what you do is you battle each one. And you've got to get more than, say, like you're battling a stormtrooper, you spin it, you get seven, you you beat the. So I wonder if you've got to beat each one and then get to Darth Vader and beat him. Who knows? We'll have to, I'll have to read the instructions and find out. Anyway, that's uh, the review of this game. I quite like it actually. I do like the board. It's very colourful and yeah, it's very retro. And I really like it. It's it's like an addition. It's an it's an add-on, isn't it, to your uh, to your Luke figure. And there you go. There's uh, let's put it back on. So there's last year's and this year's. Obviously, you've got a better card this year. I think the the markings are pretty similar on the way around but the bubble's better the bubble's a lot better and you're not getting that packing piece of paper it's not actually in there at all is it which is good that's a novelty so you've got more or less the same back but uh, yeah the card is the card feels better the bubble's definitely better as opposed to that it's obviously a lot larger as well. So there you go. Just a bit of a comparison there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Very uh, quick video today. I've been waiting for that since, since May. So yeah, it's just nice to get it. And I've got all the Retro Wave complete. And the Retro Wave 3 has been announced. Well, not really announced, but um, it's, it's been listed for next May. 
So they may be doing one a year. So we might get a full complement. And I'm hoping that next year's Return of the Jedi will have the slave layer. Probably in the Sarlacc pit game. That's the only game I can think about, think of from the Return of the Jedi. But I didn't, to be honest with you, I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this um, Hoth Ice Planet adventure game. But I'm looking forward to playing it. So thank you for watching. I hope you uh, will subscribe if you enjoyed it. And even if you didn't subscribe anyway. Um, I should be, by the time this video goes up, I should be over 400. I've got a couple more to go. But I'm giving away this Boba Fett. So leave in the comments below. I want this to go to a child, to a kid. Who can play with it, open it and play with it. So if you know a child that needs this or a child that is uh, deserving of this figure leave in the comments below and they shall win it again thank you for watching play out the toy box and may the toys be with you